Hi, I'm Katie and welcome along to another bookish adventure. So I've literally just gotten out of the shower straight from work. I am heading out this evening. I am going out for dinner with an old high school friend. She is, I say high school, actually middle school. She is, yeah, my oldest friend that I have. It is insane. I have known her since I was nine, so a really long time. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to wear. I'm kind of lost on that. It's cold. It is cold. There's the only way to describe it. It's so cold. It is ridiculous. But I I love it because it's wintry and I love being layered up. So I feel like I want to wear a jumper. I know I really want to wear a skirt. I have. I really want to wear this skirt. It's just like, it's cute and it's little and it's nice. And I have, I'm a girl who got hips. I got hips, I got air. And I have to be really careful with pleated stuff and high-waisted stuff because instead of just skimming down, it goes boop. So I look like a massive like puffball and Lady Lou roll holder, which is so attractive. But that one's really nice. I'm thinking maybe you jumper on top. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the lipstick color. I quite like this, but I might might re redo it because I've had this one all day at work. So maybe I'll maybe I'll refresh it. So reading update wise, I am on page 106 of Empire of Storms. Yeah, 106. I'm pretty sure that's I saw a six, definitely in the number and I saw a hundred. So around that mark. So I'm not like massively into it, which is annoying, but there's still time to go. I'm going to Brighton tomorrow. I'm going to meet up with my other very long good friend from college, my bestie. Oh yeah, I'm going to go meet her in Brighton so I will be able to read on the train or um, depending on what time I get there, I will go to a cafe and read and also I'll be able to read on the way back. So I'll get some done then and plow through because like stuff is really good. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, like I said, in my previous one like there is no annoying pointless like recapping and build it is like straight to what is happening there are so many characters now so much is happening that it's like straight to it and i love that anyway i'm gonna go finish getting ready i'm gonna moisturize first because i'm dry and then we'll figure out an outfit i, I don't know we'll, we'll yeah we'll try and cobble something together hello lad back again so yesterday did not go well <laughs> i've literally just finished my video for monday yeah friday was not great oh water bottle in case you can hear me slapping a lot of sounds and lots of water shaking that's what it is oh okay so the plan was to meet my colleague on the train because he's now transferred to brighton so i was like i'll get the train with you instead of going to meet you at work i will get the train with you we can have a bit of a chit chat a catch up and then i would run into primark try and find this rucksack which i really need and then go to a cafe read and wait until my bestie to get into brighton and that'd be fine we can shop we can eat grand me damien all is good can't find the bloody rucksack which is really really annoying so I had to buy a different one but I do love this rucksack and then I was messaging my bestie and she was like oh I might as well just leave now blah blah so in the end I never made it to a cafe I never got to read and then on the train home was packed oh my god and that's fine I've dealt with that but it was hot and I felt so sick I felt so rough like every time we stopped at a station I was like please for the love of god just someone open those doors I can get just a hit of air that's all I need you know when you see women who go to antenatal classes and you know they teach you how to breathe through it that was me on the train I I was like breathe through the heat breathe through the sickness like i was walking back from the station to my house which is like a two minute walk my jacket wide open like oh my god oh my god i felt oh my god i was like shaky i felt so sick i was like trying to drink water just like to calm down it was horrendous so friday it was a washout for reading however did get some really nice bits shopping got myself a new rucksack new bedding got hedgehogs on. I'm going to change my bedding today or tomorrow and I will show you it then. It is beautiful. I love it so much. And I got myself a new pair of boots which I really needed. Apparently I only own flat boots or like a skyscraper high heel boots. My mid ones are dead to the world. So yeah. Balma on the reading front but did good on the shopping front. I do have another trip coming to Brighton this coming Friday so I will definitely read then. There will be no distractions then. Reading will happen. I'm going to try and do a bit of reading today. I need to watch some more of the second series of vikings because gavin has already seen it and we don't have masses in common like with stuff to watch so when we find something that we do like i want to try and watch it with him so i need to yeah binge my way through that but i'm also trying to watch the third series of fargo with you mcgregor so yeah i'm trying to like balance the two of those as best as i can but actual reading update wise i don't know what page i'm on and my book is somewhere i don't know however something so good just dropped with manon and the witches and a grandma Mother, and I was sat there and I, I'm not even kidding. I did suddenly sit, I'm going, oh my God. Like I, oh, I've had a couple of chapters like since then and nothing. It hasn't been with Manon. It's been other people. And you know, you're thinking, I don't give a shit right now about what they're going through. I need to know about this. It's so 
good i am loving this so i am i'm gonna try and read a bit later i'm a very big strictly come dancing fan and if you don't know what strictly come dancing is here in the uk it is the original basically what dancing with the stars is but it is the original one and it's called strictly come dancing i don't know why it's not called strictly come dancing any other country but yeah so i'm a huge strictly fan i love it i love the shininess i love the dancing i love the music i love the costumes i love the really hot man i won't lie it gets me very excited and it's really nice because me and my mom watch it together and we get really excited together so um that starts at a certain time so i'm like getting some episodes of vikings do some reading enjoy strictly this is my plan probably not gonna work but this is my plan i will check in on monday and hopefully we will have returned to manon and the witches because i can't take not knowing it's my mother hi oh, no we're all good what's up i heard you talking oh no it's me oh <gasps> jeez thank you i was just thinking i needed a snack it's all right. <laughs> hey! So I didn't get a chance, but I wanted to show you the bit from my little shopping trip. I just didn't have the time. I didn't have time yesterday on Monday because Monday is mine and Gavin's day together. So we finally finished, I say finally, but we finished the first series of Peaky Blinders. I was, I just like really wanted to rewatch all the series now that the new ones come out. I just really had this theme that yeah, I just wanted to completely revisit the whole thing and just go from it from the start. And I'm so glad I did because I just, I love everything about it and revisiting it is just so nice. So first thing, I I have to show you because it is the most important and most perfect part of what I bought on my little shopping trip on Friday. It is my new duvet. I got it from Primark. It's like 15 pounds for a double, but it is so nice. It's brushed cotton, and I put my brushed cotton sheet underneath. So literally, I am in a sat. I am in a sandwich of just pure comfort and luxury. It is the single most adorable duvet I think I own. I love this one. This one is giving me sexy Jeff Goldblum scientist Jurassic Park vibes. But my favorite, my absolute favorite has to be this little guy look at his little face and then yeah as you can see the top side that is the um flip side of it so i really love it it's just really cute so i've got my pillows facing as this one and then the duvet is this because the actual other pillow like the other side of it isn't this pattern it is completely different and i don't really like it so i just thought it'd be really nice to have it because i just yeah i love the pattern of the leaves i think it's so like, cute i love it i love it so much it's adorable i can't even my second item was the lovely rock set i love this this. it's so cute it's such a good size they do it in tan as well i got it from accessorize so i'm definitely gonna get the tan version as well because it's just like a perfect little dinky side and i like that it has this front pocket here i did find one in primark which i did quite like and it had like one of those false bottoms but it did mean the bag the innards were shorter which was kind of no good but no i did see that one originally when i did shopping before and i was gonna wait till payday but then yeah this primark bag just disappeared but i do love that one also comes in like an emerald kind of foresty green and burgundy but the front bit has a kind of like snakeskin pattern on it, which I'm not sure on, but I definitely want to get it in the tan because it is super cute. And then finally, my favorite item, really. I got some new shoes. So yeah, I needed to get some new ones. And I really, really love these. I love that they have this chunky sole and yeah, a nice sturdy heel. I have already worn these and they are pretty comfortable. I do want to put an insole in them because I feel like my arch doesn't actually sit on the shoe, which makes it a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, no, I love these. These are such a good buy. These are like under 30 pounds pounds from Dyshman. But no, I love these boots. I just, I love that kind of sole, that real kind of hefty. So reading update wise, if you follow me on my Instagram, you will have seen that I went through some serious, serious emotions on Monday, yesterday. Oh my God. I won't lie. I cried. I had a little cry followed by a whole heap of shock and just, oh my God, it is getting so good. I'm sorry, but if your name isn't Man in Blackbeak, I just don't care. I am so in love with Man in like there is no tomorrow that witch literally has my heart in her iron claws. I'm struggling to care about anyone that isn't her. Like I said before on the last, last time when I signed off, I said that something in like just no had been announced. And then I just went through a bunch of just chapters that were not her. So yeah, I got some reading done on that Saturday. So I read through all those chapters and then the next one, I think I got about 45 minutes in half an hour. And then what next one, the chapter I picked up on the Monday on my lunchtime. I saw the words man and I was like, yes, I am ready. It is getting so good. It is getting really good. Is it bad that I am kind of living for her storyline? Everything else I'm like not caring about anymore, which is really bad because I really, really love this series and I'm so just like, so enjoying it. And I love the previous ones and it just, 
all of it was so good and how it all comes together is so good but i'm all about her storyline and um i can't remember what her name is i always forget what it is it begins with an e she's currently going by the name mariam she oh my god it's like elid or something i can't remember what it is and i literally like her i'm loving her storyline as well she's just adorable she's a little ball of fieriness which i'm all about but i'm trying to remember trying to remember <laughs> so hard the reasons why i love sort of this series and that it's not just about madam that is me done for this week i can't imagine that i will need to record anything tomorrow wednesday i would just be really surprised unless something soul shatteringly devastating happens and i need to be like oh my god help me i can't imagine that i'm gonna need to sign back on i'm currently about 40 percent so by the weekend yeah by the time i hit saturday so my final day of work obviously i want to at least hit 50 percent 60 percent will be great heading more towards that 70 will be perfect i am really determined and i should have some time thursday as well if you enjoyed this video then smash that like button and show me your thumbs your support means the world to me and of course comment below let me know how your week's been and what you've been reading and up to if you're new hi hello feel free to hit that subscribe button and never miss a video plenty more to come and lace to catch up on i hope you have a great weekend and i will see you monday for my book call bye